a guy going to the club is different than a girl going to the club. I feel like guys, I feel like guys, guys yeah, true. guys going out That's to the club true. every weekend, I feel like, would be a lot more suspicious. If she's yeah. attractive, well, it's, there's a 100% chance she's going to get hit on while they're basic. But we don't have no, to but talk it's, to them. No, but it's different, though. It's totally different because men and women, like, we flirt differently. So men, if we go to the club and we want to get female attention, we have to go up and approach women. Mm-hmm. We we have we'd have to initiate. We have to take an active, participatory role in initiating it, right? It but as a girl, if you're in a relationship, you might you might have no intention of going up to anybody, right? But guys are still going to come up to you because they don't know that you're in a relationship. That's how women flirt: is to just be there, to just show up. So it's it's very different to as a guy. To but learn. here's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Here's the difference. So as a hold on. As a guy, if I go to a club and I'm in a relationship with a girl, ain't no girls coming to hit on me. But as a girl, if you go to a club and you're in a relationship with a guy with no intention for a guy to come up to you, there's guys that are going to come up to you. Yep. Okay. So because you to turn them off. So because you guys but, are more vocal and more like you guys are the ones who come up to us and you guys are the ones who flirt with us. That makes it a problem for us to go out. I don't think it's yeah, a problem, but it's just we're being because of what you guys are doing. Yeah. But it's but, not but our, like we're making a choice to go out. That doesn't necessarily that mean that we want to be flirted with. Like, but you're putting you're going your, out. You're coming up to us. If you go I literally to, can't fucking go get to my car without someone approaching me and asking me for my number. Literally yeah, leaving happens. the gym with my headphones that totally, on. That totally like, happens. This is why I was surprised only 10 dudes have slid into your DMs. <laughs> no, but, but I don't... That's, I mean, so that that's different. Like, I a bar... It happens more often in person than yeah, yeah, right. on Instagram. Uh, you can... But, of course, you should totally be free to maneuver through the world. But what I'm saying is specifically with with parties clubs and bars those are very specific social environments where there's it's much more guaranteed that you're right. going to get so approached so should we stop being involved and you know you could go, so on you could go to Trader Joe's 20 times and nobody's going to talk to you if you That's go to a, a, a party once, yeah. club or bar somebody's coming to hit very on you. Very true. Somebody's coming to hit very on you. And I mean, it you're does, not wrong. Thank you. Thank you. No, so it's true. It's, true. it's out of our control if we get approached, but it is fully in our control being Still in a relationship, it. single or taken, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. If we want to, you know, continue on with that conversation or turn you away. Yeah. And then, the, well, there's the question too. If, a, if your girlfriend's going out downtown, you know, all the time or going out to the clubs, there's a question, is is she really going out every time just so she can get that only, attention? No, only you, you know your own truth at that point. Them. Only you know your own truth. I only, I only know my own truth. Like, it literally, and we it have no fucking clue. Mm-hmm. On we have Into no clue mind. unless we get proof, you know, unless the so video was taken why, or some, something so like that. So why do you guys go to parties, bars, and clubs? To have fun. Yeah, period. why can't we go yeah, out? What is fun? To have fun. Music, entertainment. Yeah, exactly. Like okay. if having a good time out with a girl. Is so there's like no just part of being interested in meeting boys. All right, so no, just, just because there are men when there. I'm single, yes. I feel like it's Sometimes not the yeah, focus. I'm single, single, yes. Of course, but like 100%. when you're when I'm taken as well, I still go. Absolutely not. And oh, it's like it's yeah. not for only like the male gaze. I'm going of with course, my girlfriends and I'm going to go have fun just because men are there. Is and I'm like, and they're like open to like chatting with me. It doesn't mean I have to put like any of myself into that chat. I just want to have fun with my girls. It, it, I mean, like, I went to the bar the other night with her, and we literally just went to go play pool. Let me let me just ask yeah, this. No, that's like, cool. That's cool. Is, that's cool. Is no, one of the necessary. ways in which you have fun by getting attention and validation from men? Absolutely not. Mm-mm. That's not. It's I mean, not all the time. Circumstance. It it's like happens, their, but it's like about the laughs, the conversation. It's about the music yeah. it's about the moment it's not about the kind of guy that comes up to you and says oh hey like i like i like how you look like you're beautiful blah 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 that I gets exhausting mm-hmm. i'm just going to put like that out I, there it gets exhausting and having so many people most of the time it's just you. like like honestly leave me alone like <laughs> like honestly i i go out to sure. experience a really great time with the people that i love which so do you just They're like standing right here? Do you just like mm-hmm. always reject dudes when i always you reject guys? dudes Left really? and right. most Why of not? the time yes Great. I'll buy you a speaker. Always. You car out there for the guys I, I that do, like you. Like, I, I do reject Great. a lot of Have guys. Have you ever been speak. rejected? No. Have Damn. you ever been rejected? Mm, I'm trying to think. Probably, Have, but I don't know. Have you guys ever approached dudes? 
Yes. yes. So you've never been rejected yeah. then? No. Because you said you've That's approached I've men. been rejected so many times. Same. Was this during the fat camp era? I think that era? may have been. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Wow. <laughs> what? I thought, come on. Oh, it's a funny, it was, it was, it was no fat camp. It, it was, was a funny joke. Oh, no sorry. fan camp. The, no, it no, the, it was literally like, I mean, actually. She, it's said, she said boarding school. Yeah. It was boarding school. It was boarding school, school because I was disgusting. misbehaved, but Ridiculous. you know, that's a story for another time. I we were with the boys here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Um. I have a question though. So if you guys meet a girl at the club or you meet her out or you meet her like, you know, all of a sudden when you guys are serious and dating, is that going to be a problem if she goes out every weekend if you met her at the club? Wait, sorry. Repeat, okay, sorry, I, repeat I know. It, repeat it. <laughs> so if you, well, you don't go out, so I don't know if this is like a question, but like if you go out once and you meet the love of your life at the club, you're probably not. But yeah. if you meet like the love of your life at the club and all of a sudden she, her going out consistently is a problem, but you met her while you were out. Mm-hmm. But did you, if he, did he know? And he knew. If he knew that she was going out yeah, consistently every weekend, I but feel like if you he thought he could like handle it. If you go into that relationship knowing this, it's kind of like you are accepting yeah. these terms. You shouldn't have to be like, all right, now you have to change. Exactly. You know, like if you're going to a relationship with a girl that, I don't know, does OnlyFans and yeah, whatever, like, I no. wouldn't do that. But yeah. like you go into that relationship and then you tell her to stop. Yeah. It's kind of it's not really your like yeah. you say if you're going into that accepting those terms. Okay. I'll tell you this, I'm I'm not looking for a wife in the club. <laughs> No, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're definitely no. not in there. Oh, so, well, well, I would don't bother. <laughs> You're not gonna find so, your life so to answer your question, this in this hypothetical scenario where I would tragically <laughs> yeah. find myself in a nightclub, which yes. would be, ah, uh, man. Um, <laughs> the thing is, is that when I, for example, if I meet a girl in the club, yeah. and we just start dating, yeah. there's not an immediate expectation that she's loyal to me either. There's what not do you an expectation. Dating. Well, like. Like monogamy. The terms, <laughs> the terms can change. Yeah. So it's not like the first time you meet someone that she's going to be loyal to no, you yeah, right away, 100%. right? But as you continue seeing each other for longer, then the terms of the relationship can be negotiated and change. Mm-hmm. So in the same way that maybe after a couple of weeks or you know a month or two months, you guys have the discussion, hey, we're going to be monogamous. In that same way, you can also say, hey, if we're going to be in a monogamous relationship, I don't want you going to the club anymore. But you met at the club? Yeah. I mean, you, you can stop going to the club, too. Okay. Okay. But, 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 but in sense. her situation, she was saying if you knew that she was going every yeah. weekend, like that was her. And you basically like made it like, a, like that's okay, basically. And now all of a sudden, you're taking it back. If she came to me and she said, Brian, I want to be in a monogamous, serious, committed relationship mm-hmm. with you, I would say, okay, here are my terms. Wouldn't you cut it off before that? Because she's not your type of girl. Because she goes out all the time. Wouldn't you just go find someone that fits more into that? And also, why would you go to a club scope? looking for a girl if you don't want a girl in the club? <laughs> but, no, <laughs> she gave, she it was gave in her me, scenario. <laughs> no, but she her gave scenario. me uh, this a hy- <laughs> hypothetical, <laughs> hypothetical scenario. No, I guess yeah. just... I think you just cut it off, to be honest. I want to create a... Uh, <laughs> quit it. I, I've, <laughs> just quit it. I've written this down. This is a <laughs> dream world hypothetical that yeah. I want to pose Wait, to you guys. Okay. Um, wait, can you? No, 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 <laughs> guys, put put that. Just hide that. Come on, oh, put that down. <laughs> hide her hands. Hide her hands, guys. Okay, so um, to try, I I want to try to give you guys a a scenario where it can make sense to you why guys have an issue with girls going to the clubs. So I can see why. I wait, want you. I want yeah, you guys. You guys to, can see why, right? Yeah, but, but let like, me let me paint I can it. Understand you guys' situations and you guys' opinions. I can understand Jesus. your guys' situations and Shut opinions, <laughs> uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything you guys say. So mm. let me paint a dream world hypothetical scenario here for dream you. Dream world? Dream world. Let's see it. Pay attention. Okay, okay we are. Pay okay. attention here. So we're going to create a dream world. Um, and, you know, unless as a guy you're like super famous, girls just don't hit up guys like in the example I'm about to provide. Um, you know, in the real world, like the vast majority of men go to parties, clubs, and bars straight up would get ignored if they didn't make the first move, do anything. So, okay. Would you be, would you be okay with your monogamous, with your long-term monogamous partner going to a nightclub, bar, or party-type environment 
where throughout the course of the night, he's going to get approached, flirted with, and sexually pursued by numerous attractive women, some of which are more attractive than you and could potentially be a better partner than you. And these women are buying him drinks, getting him drunk, and enthusiastically want to sleep with him that night and steal him away from you. That's oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. and his single manho friends are rallying, being a bad influence, telling him he should do it and talking shit about you all night. You're going to tell me you'd be okay with that. Shit. Would you guys that's, be okay with that? Um, that's not that's necessarily great. what that's happens a on a night out, and I would mm-hmm. like to say something. So you're saying that, okay, so these girls are approaching him, and they might be more attractive than me. Move, move the mic that way. Um, so this situation is happening, like, all together. Like, and whatever you said. The microphone. He, I don't know if you noticed, but he described what So woman. that's exactly Wait. what's going on? Wait, what? In the situation? Yeah. He what literally he just explained. What he described is what women go exactly, through all the time. Exactly. So like, guys exactly. With blue check marks. What? Okay, what? So do guys with blue check marks. They what experience mean? what he just said. Mm. Oh, sorry. They I experienced mean, what he just said. Like, guys kind of, with blue but, check marks but, and stuff like that. I've been in the position that you're talking about. Right, but an average girl. Guys with fame, like... I think what she means is that guys with fame, they get approached well, yes, a lot. That's yeah, what, but, but that's what I said. That's yeah. what Unless you're super famous, guys oh, are not going to have... Oh, unless you're super famous. Yeah, I'm talking In general, average like, women get this experience that I just described. So Average women. Yeah. Average yeah. women. Not every woman. Average not every woman. On, exactly. In general? Average women do. But most... Okay. I get it. <laughs> no, like, I get it. Like, you're, you're explaining, like, what guys, like, the do guys on an average night that. when they go out. No no no, 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 no. He's right. explaining. He, okay, look, look. Like so let me hide the. Um, Can we just Eric, repeat the so question? I'm gonna repeat the hypothetical yeah, scenario. Eric, can really you, can you maximize? <laughs> My brain cells are dying oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Eric, can you maximize the <laughs> OBS so they can't read the comments while I'm explaining this? Thing? Okay, please pay attention. We have it. Okay, so <laughs> this is a dream world hypothetical scenario. Oh, this yeah. only happened unless you're like super famous girls really don't be hitting up guys like this so would you this hypothetical scenario would you be okay with your long-term monogamous partner going to a nightclub bar or party type environment where throughout the course of the night he's going to get approached flirted with and sexually pursued by numerous attractive women some of which are more attractive than you and could potentially be a better partner than you these are women. Are, these women are buying him drinks, getting him drunk, and enthusiastically want to sleep with him that night and steal him away from you. Oh, also his uh, single manho friends are rallying, being a bad influence, telling him he should do it, and talking shit about you all night. You're going to tell me you'd be okay with that? Okay, no, 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 not with that. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, okay. so. Sorry, thank I you. Do you recognize the situation, though? You're this. Understand. Yes, because that's literally, I've seen that happen so many times to my friends. Like, I've seen that happen while I'm there. Because, like, I like to hang out with, like, my guy friends. You know, if anything, like, I sometimes prefer to hang out with my guy friends than my girlfriends. No offense. Um, (laughs) Not taken. Okay, good. Um, But, yeah, I've seen my guy friends who have had girlfriends. Like, it's happened to them, you know. Like, they're very attractive, and they're being approached by, like, you know, multiple women or just one woman. And like, I know like their relationship, you know, I know that this person's in a relationship and I've seen like the other guys just be like, dude, just do it. Like, just do it. Like, it's fine. Like, she's not going to find out or like, fuck her, like whatever. Um, You know, and sometimes they give in and sometimes they don't, you know, which is really awesome when they don't give in. But when they do, it's just like, it's a real letdown. You know, and so, I can't, I putting myself like in that position, like of the girl, like I would be absolutely heartbroken. So you can see how this can be a little contradictory because none of you would be okay with it. Right. No, but then no. you say guys should be okay with girls going out all the time. But that's exactly the same. That. She didn't say oh, that. Oh, you didn't say that. Didn't but say you, that. you two mainly said okay. that. Yeah, like, why are into you guys mi- asking us this question unless you think like every guy does it at a You club? got speak into the microphone, please. So I was asking, like, why would you ask a question unless you think, like, every other guy does that in the club? Like, you ask a question for a reason. Like, we, the, reason, the, reason, the reason why he asked this either. question, she was asking, why are, we asked that, why are you asking that question? The reason, the reason why he asked that question is because we were receiving criticism for saying, like, it's a deal breaker if a girl's regularly going to clubs without yes. us. 
that so, situation that he just described that you guys wouldn't be okay with happening mm, to your boyfriend that happens woman. to women all, all the, the time. Think about it. Woman yeah, getting hit on. Which is why we're saying we're not okay with our long-term partners mm-hmm. putting themselves in situations yeah, like that. Yeah, and that's that. why I'm asking why you asked the question. Is like that what people like go through like at the club? Yeah, no, that's, guys that's, don't go through that. Goal, you're saying basically. you're yeah, saying you asking. weren't. You're saying you're not okay with him. No, that that situation as he just described. But you you guys were criticizing us like looking at us for, like, like we were weirdos wanting, yeah, for not I wanting our girlfriends exactly. to go clubbing. I I understand exactly what you guys are saying. So you, so you can see the. Yes, I see the contradictory points. You have a girlfriend like she would actually do that to you guys. What do you mean? Okay, what? no, no, but look, like, we could be saying to you guys, why aren't you okay, okay with we'll, that? We'll move on, we'll move on. Well, Allison, do you want to have, <laughs> do you have I'm a take on this real quick? Question, like, oh. We were saying a good girlfriend wouldn't want to do that, and you were like, you were like, what, like, why does that make her a bad girlfriend, basically? Like, why can't she go clubbing and still be a good girlfriend? Eric, you can switch it back, by the way. So that guy in that, in that story, what we could be saying to you, like, why is that not okay for him to be doing that? Like, I don't think they shouldn't you trust him? No, I, no, I get it. You guys are just describing what girls go through yeah. and putting like guy instead. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. But he no, did that, that after you guys were looking at us skeptically and critically for saying we wouldn't be okay with long-term girlfriends doing that. I would be okay no, with him doing that situation. as long as he's not cheating. Yeah, as long There's as no way to know that, so but if okay I trust with, my partner... You're okay with him going into situations like that regularly where chicks are trying to get him drunk and have sex with him, his boys are cheering him on, you're totally cool with that? Yes, as long as he's not he's, doing it. <laughs> but the, I think there's significant okay. risks there. There are Stop. big yeah. risks. Hold on. It's better Stop to not cap. put yourself in temptation. <laughs> no. in my Wait, did you say no when he first asked that? that I you wouldn't be, be with the type of guy that would do like that thing to me. I do what thing? Um, do exactly what you guys were saying. The hypothetical like situation you created, like I would never date a guy that would actually do that to me. And that's why we're saying we wouldn't date women that, that would put would themselves that. in situations yes, that like I, that. If and you guys looked at us it. like we were yeah. controlling freaks. Before you gave us a situation. I feel like we like, shouldn't have well, needed to explain that, though. I feel like that didn't even need well, to be explained. Something like that has never happened to me. Do you think like, that point of view is, your point of view is the same, though? Do you been think put, it's the same? Been put in what situation? Um, where, like, the these people talk about, like, talk about me behind my back where I, while they're at, like, a club I mean, or that's only one like frat that. part of the I know, the but thing. I'm saying, like, I wouldn't be in a relationship with a guy that would Single friends are a terrible influence. Like so bad. I agree 100%. So bad. Like if you're going out with your single friends and you're in a relationship. Oh, that's 